Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid My DNA, the home of everything Madridistas. As we discuss you through Real Madrid latest and important update. Kickstarting with today's agenda in a recent media interaction, Real Madrid star winger Rodrigo Goes talks Vinicius Jr., Kylian Mbappe, future teammate Hendrik, Ballon d'Or award, and his role with the Brazilian national team. We are going to be detailing you through that on this episode as we progress. And the shortly after that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Real Madrid defensive mainstay, starting at uncertain future despite resurgence in form. We are going to be also talking you through that as Real Madrid have recently re-entered talks with Alfonso Davies, leaving Forlan Mendy's future at the club uncertain. Stay tuned right up to the end and do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bells so you do not miss out on our daily Real Madrid update. Real Madrid forward Rodrigo has been in the news this month as speculations about his future are reef following the arrival of Kylian Mbappe. It has been suggested that Rodrigo could look for an exit in the summer with there being no shortage of interest in him either after all some top premier league sites are said to be monitoring his situation currently however the brazilian international recently confirmed that he intends to stay put at real madrid despite the increased competition in attack with mbappe vinicius dion and, in and Hendrik. In fact, during an interview with Global Exporte, Rodrigo insisted that all the aforementioned forward can coexist and thrive together at the club. It is possible to play together. And Celotti, I think, will find a way. Good players have to play together, Rodrigo remarked. The Brazilian then opened up on his compatriot Hendrik, insisting that the 17 years old is already very matured for his age and that he would help the youngster adapt at the club. Hendrik is very matured for the age he is. You can feel it talking to him and on the pitch. For me, it is already a pleasure to be able to play with him, to be able to help him in some ways. At Real Madrid, I will help him just like Vinicius Jr. did with me. Rodrigo goes out it. Rodrigo also touched upon his fellow countryman and teammate Vinicius Jr. being a favorite to win this year's Ballon d'Or, saying that he supports the fellow forward candidature. We know that Vinicius Jr. is the main candidate to win and I support this decision because he is my teammate, Rodrigo stated, on whether he desires to win the golden ball in the future of the forward added. It is not something that I prioritize but it is something every player's dream of. With the Copa America on the horizon, Rodrigo has been handed a number 10 jersey by the Brazil national team head coach Dorival Gino in the absence of Neymar Gino. And Real Madrid has insisted that he is ready for the greater responsibility, saying, I am ready to take on more and more responsibilities and be better, the Real Madrid forward concluded. So having discussed and concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Real Madrid defensive mainstay, starting at uncertain future despite resurgence in form. After missing out on a place in the French national team for the FIFA World Cup in Qatar, 
Real Madrid defender Forlan Mendy has improved his stocks significantly to earn a place in the squad for the upcoming Euros slated to take place in Germany. Now caught up for the event in Germany with mainstay Lucas Hernandez ruled out. It is even likely that the left back is a regular starter for the the stand side in all important events. Mendy has been one of the players in good run for Real Madrid in recent months and was a key pillar in the team's stunning double last season as revealed by Mundo Deportivo. However, his future at the club level is still unclear. The 29 years old current contract with Real Madrid runs out in June 2025 and the Spanish media outlet confirms that there has been no contract between the club and the player to discuss a possible renewal yet. Part of the reason for the stalling of contract talks could be that the Los Blancos saw the defender as transferable, especially given the pursuit of Alfonso Davies this summer. Considering the pioneering role he played for the team last season, including 37 games and stellar defensive performance under pressure in the UEFA Champions League, the Merengues could well change their mind. The biggest factor influencing Mendy's future, needless to say, is Real Madrid's operation to sign Alfonso Davies. Bayern Munich refused to part ways with the player, but the men in white are not one to back down either. Recent meetings between Davies' entourage and Bayern Munich left many feelings that a renewal was a possibility. After all, Bayern improved their offer to the player, albeit still less than what he demands. Recent reports, however, revealed that Real Madrid have renewed their interest in the fullback as they see him as one for the long haul with the player's contract running out in the summer of 2025. The time is right to pull the trigger. We are going to be bringing you a full update on that in our future update as far as Alfonso Davies, Ferland Mendy and Real Madrid are concerned. Stay tuned so you do not miss out. So I want to discuss and conclude with that we have come to the end of today's interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss out on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.